Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to chat with you guys about are we willing to do what others won't? Let's get started and talk about it. I was thinking about how fabulous you guys are for coming here every day to watch these videos. You could be doing something else, but you're coming to see if you can learn something new and apply it to your life because you don't just learn maybe from some things I'm sharing with you, but many of you read the fabulous comments and also visit other finance and money saving YouTubers and learn from them as well. So thank you very much. I wanted to share with you guys about how many of us are willing to do what other people want to save money and live a debt free or almost debt free lifestyle. And I was thinking about a lot of you are so frugal and I've learned many things from you guys. So the first thing that I notice about many of us and many people out there are not willing to do this and that's where they're at right now and that's okay. The first is waiting for wants. Many times it's easy for us to impulse buy. But I see in the comments all the time that we just we don't impulse buy. We might want something, but we actually wait and we think about it. And then after we think about it for a while, 95% of the time we really find we don't want that item. Many times when people want something right away, they may be wanting to meet some type of need, they impulse buy. It could be food or non-food related. So many of us are willing to say no to impulse buying. Number two, reallocating our budget or cutting back on expenses. And that takes time. And I'll be honest with you, I don't enjoy doing that at all because many times it requires phone calls. It requires being on hold. It requires time and research. And I've read many of the comments, hey, I just switched homeowner's insurance. I just switched car insurance. Or I just canceled this service after I found out this. And you've taken time to do your research and read, make phone calls. That takes time. That takes commitment. Okay, number three. Now this one I have done before, but it is time consuming. But I know many of you do it. I do not, to be totally honest. Is track each and every penny you spend and so that you can see where all your money is going. Now many people are not willing to do that. And if you're willing to do that, I know you probably save a lot more money than many other frugal people. Number four, and I've learned this from some of you, not being afraid to just say no. Not feeling bad, not feeling obligated. No is a complete sentence. Someone asks you, do you want to buy something? Some of you will just say a direct no. Some of you will say no, thank you, thank you for thinking of me, but just simply saying no. Number five, even if there's things you want, it could be whether it's even a home repair, going on vacation, maybe you need some new clothes. It could be anything. You want to upgrade your car or your computer. You still make savings or investing or a little bit of both a priority. You make having an emergency savings a priority so you don't have to go in debt. Yes, you might want to, you know, get your whole house fixed up or go on a, you know, trip to Europe with your friends. But you know that if you don't have that emergency savings, that it may come back to bite you and you may have to go in debt. So you're willing to just sacrifice that. Okay, number six, and many of you do this too. So a lot of these things I do, but I'll be honest with you, some of them I can improve on. Number six, learn skills so you can do things for yourself. I mean, I'm amazed at all the types of skills that many of you folks have, talents and skills. Some you share with others. It could be anything from small repairs, sewing, you know, working on cars, anything. You know, um, basically also putting in flooring in your home. Many of you have learned to do things for yourself so that you don't have to pay others. So learning useful skills, many folks are not willing to do that. Number seven, barter with other people. Trade skills or find ways to get discounted or free items. You know, a lot of these things I'm talking about take a commitment and they take time. Okay, number eight, pay cash. You know, and instead of just charging things and having to make payments, what you'll do is you may go without some things that you're that you want to spend money on so that you could save so that you could pay cash for a bigger expense that you know is coming okay number nine this is huge and i've seen this with many of you not caring what other people think you may get judgments from other people that think wow she doesn't live a very fun life or he doesn't live a very fun life what a drag you got to live a little how many people have ever said that to you but you don't care because you know at the end you're going to have money for the things you need and you're going to be better prepared in terms of stockpile, emergencies, and all of that. And number 10, spend any extra money wisely. I know of somebody recently that had some extra money 
And what they did with that money is they planned ahead and they bought some clothes for all of their children of sizes that they need, supplies, school supplies, gardening supplies. They stocked up on some things. They bought some things that the family needed. They also got some dental work that they needed. They used that money really wisely. They didn't just go blow it. They used it for things their family needed and then put the rest in the savings. So I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Do you feel like you're willing to do what other people won't? In terms of money, I think many of you are. And many of you are very wise. If any of you ever start a YouTube channel, I definitely would love to support you. Anyway, that's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye now.